One of the small annoyances that I have as an academic um, is that I'll frequently uh, be browsing the web or searching and I'll come across a link to a really interesting journal article. Um, but when I click on it, I'm actually taken to the, the, the uh, articles page on the journal website, which is fine, um, except uh, when you're coming in from the open web, uh, it, the, uh, the journal doesn't recognize that you might have uh, free access to the article through your university's library. Um, and so when you get here and you try and download the article by clicking full text PDF or something along those lines, um, you'll be taken to a page that either asks you to log in as an individual subscriber or to pay a small ransom for one-time access to the article. And there is an option to log in through your institution, but um, it's rather specific and, uh, and, sometimes, and not all sort of libraries kind of work with this. Um, so generally, the, the workaround uh, goes something like this. Um, I have to uh, remember basically uh, the, uh, the journal, the year, the volume and the issue number of the article I'm interested in. And then I have to go to my university's library website. I have to search for the journal. Um, and then once I found it, I have to click on the, uh, click on the database that uh, my library subscribes to the journal through. I have to enter a username and password um, from the library. And then finally, I'm taken back to the library's website through, uh, or back to the journal's website through my library's proxy. Except it's still, I'm still not on the page of the particular journal article. Um, so the next thing I have to do is I have to go to the back issues. And then once I'm there, I'll have to find the year um, that the article was published. Um, then find the uh, the volume and issue it was published in. And finally, once I've done all that. Um, I'm back to the article that I was originally trying to look at and from here I can either download the PDF directly from here or I can finally get back to the same page that I was on before when I actually clicked that link from the open web except now um, I'm actually logged in through my, my university library's proxy and so this will take a minute to load um, but you get the idea. And there it goes, finally. Um, so you begin to see how this can take a little while. Um, and, uh, and it recently occurred to me that I was doing it the hard way. Um, and so uh, when it, this first occurred to me, um, I realized how I was linking uh, students uh, to, uh, to journal articles through the library website. And uh, what generally happens is that the university will give you what they call an easy proxy URL. Um, and basically, it's a small URL that you put in front of um, the link, uh, to the direct link to a journal article, um, to uh, to actually uh, that uh, that will basically redirect students through the uh, through the proxy URL, so they have access to the library. Um, so, in this example, if I was here at this original, uh, if I was here at this original article here. Um, I would paste in the proxy URL um, before the uh, before the journal article one that I came or the the journal URL that I came to from the open web, um, and then when I hit enter, um, it's actually going to take me um, through the university's proxy right back to that web page. So that's pretty instant, um, and that's great. And if you're not logged in, it'll come up with the login panel and ask you to basically authenticate yourself as a university user. Um, but it takes you directly there, which is terrific. Um, the only problem is if you're just using this while you're browsing, you actually have to remember this kind of convoluted easy proxy URL. And for me, this meant actually going uh, into uh, my mail client and searching for this email from the librarian, um, which kept becoming an older and older email and harder to dig up, um, and, uh, and, and digging this up each time. Um, but then I realized that I, uh, I use plenty of services that, uh, that allow me to sort of uh, post links um, through a bookmarklet. So Instapaper, things like Delicious and, and, uh, and stuff of that nature. Um, we'll just have little bookmarklets that uh, are basically links in your, uh, in your bookmarks bar um, that are actually JavaScript, as you can see here. Um, and what they do is they take the URL of the page that you're on and they send it along to the service um, that you're trying to reach. And, uh, and I figured, um, 
this would be, uh, I mean, th this would be the perfect solution. Rather than having to remember um, this pro this proxy URL, I could just do this each time. And so that's actually what I've done. Um, is I've written a small bookmarklet that will just insert your library's proxy URL um, anytime that you're coming to an article from the open web. Um, so, um, so for instance, um, this is the uh, this is the JavaScript that I've actually written here, um, and you can see proxy URL goes here. So we'll take this proxy URL, cut it, paste it into this, and I'll give you the f and and now we have uh, basically the full JavaScript, and I'll give this to you. Um, as in text form um, with uh, with this post, but uh, but basically to create a um, a URL for it, all we have to do is um, basically create a bookmark or, or create an entry in our bookmarks bar. You can do that just by you know dragging the URL from uh, any page um, and then editing it. And so we're going to get rid of this original name and URL, and we're going to call this library proxy. And instead of this URL here. We're going to paste in this JavaScript um, that I that I wrote out in that other window, um, and then we'll say OK. So now I've got a library proxy link, uh, and this is terrific. So the next time that I am at um, an article on the on the open web here, uh, or come to an, a, a link through the open web, I'll just click the library proxy link here, um, and it's immediately going to redirect me um, through my library's website without having to remember. Um, any of that proxy URL. And so with just one click and maybe a login if you're not already logged into your university's website, um, you're right back to that article um, and you can see that we can now download it um, directly from this website um, and, uh, and we're done. Um, so that's how I've tried to make this easier and, uh, and I will paste the specifics in along with this video, but I hope this helps someone else in the future.